Hey everyone, I'm AJ from Whole Latte Love with a quick video on how and why to refill the boiler on your single boiler dual use espresso machine after steaming milk. On this type of machine, the boiler has two modes. It can heat the water to a preset temperature for brewing or heat it to a higher temperature for steaming. When you steam, the liquid level in the boiler drops as you remove evaporated water through the wand. When you're pulling a shot, this isn't something to worry about since running the pump constantly brings new water into the boiler. However, when steaming, the water is simply pushed out by pressure and not the pump and is not refilled automatically, at least not until you get into more expensive types of machines. So why does it matter that the water level in the boiler drops? The concern is for the heating element, which is designed to be surrounded by water. When steaming, it's possible to remove enough water from the boiler to expose the heating element, which risks it overheating, cracking or burning out. Some models are more susceptible to this than others, but as a general rule of thumb to build good habits and prevent damage, if you have a single boiler dual use machine, we recommend manually refilling it every time after you steam. This also cools down the boiler to a more appropriate brew temperature in preparation for your next shot. The process to cool down and refill the boiler is simple. After you're done steaming, wiping and purging your wand, turn off the steam switch. Place an empty container under the wand, open the steam knob, then hit the switch labeled pump or hot water, depending on your machine. Continue until you see a solid stream of water coming out of the wand, at which point you can turn off the pump and close the steam knob. Some models like the Gaja Classic Pro don't have this dedicated switch, so you can just use the brew switch instead to pull water from the wand. Now you may be wondering if you can just run some water through the brew group instead of the steam wand. And while the answer is yes, on most machines using the wand is a better option for a couple reasons. First, the outlet pipe going to the wand is generally on the top of the boiler, higher up than the pipe leading to the group. So going through the wand will ensure it gets filled up all the way to the top. Second, since you just finished steaming milk, running hot water through the wand helps flush out the inside of it cleaning any milk residue that may have made its way up there during the steaming process. For more single boiler espresso machine tips and tricks, check out this video for ways to take your machine to the next level for free without any modifications. And if you found this video helpful, please click the thumbs up button below, subscribe to the channel, and come back soon for more of the best on everything coffee brought to you by Whole Latte Love.